What we want to do is understand the flexion rotation test for the uh, upper cervical spine and specifically C1 on C2. So we're going to review the ligaments here first. So this particular view of the upper cervical spine includes the foramen magnum here, C1, and then C2. This is a posterior view and the spinous processes and the posterior part of the foramen magnum have been removed. The other thing that's been removed that's shown here is the tectorial membrane, which is an extension of the posterior longitudinal ligament. So once that's removed from the connection between the body of the uh, C2 vertebrae, which is here, the dens would s sits right here, and then this is the anterior arch that we kind of covered up by the ligaments of C1. What we can see is that first there's a transverse ligament, which is part of this cruciform ligament um, that runs from one side of the atlas to the other and keeps the dens or the odontoid process up against the anterior arch of C1. We also see in this picture the alar ligaments coming off uh, of the top of the, <coughs> the odontoid process and attaching to the frame and magnum. What we can understand is that the, the role of the, the, the transverse ligament and the alar ligament are important clinically. The transverse ligament keeps the, the dens up against the anterior arch of C1 to form the pivot joint. The alar ligaments restrict rotational motions of C1 on C2 um, at end range. <clears throat> Here's another view. So this is a sagittal view cut through the center of the spine. This is the spinal canal. Here's the odontoid process or the dens. Here's the anterior arch of C1. And we can see here the, the cross section of the transverse ligament underneath the tectorial membrane. Um, and then we would note that the alar ligaments come off on the lateral sides of the, of the dens. So this is an example of the flexion rotation test uh, for motion, motion at C1 on C2. Flexion of the spine uh, engages the, the ligaments that limit flexion. Uh, but at C1 on C2, the, the ligaments that limit rotation are the alar ligaments, which are not engaged by flexion. Therefore, this is a, a good test for, for motion restrictions at C1 and C2. Here there's flexion, so then now there's rotation to the right. And then we're looking for an equal amount of rotation to the left. so that would be a negative test. Okay, again, you can see the amount of neck flexion that's being uh, imposed, and then the right rotation while maintaining uh, the amount of neck flexion to assess C1 and C2 motion.